When I say God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you say God bless Ego Call. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless Ego Call. Okay. I pray this day that as the fruit of the land produces this, you shall be fruitful. Amen. Promotion, you overwhelm me. Longevity is your birthday. Amen. You will live long and enjoy this life. When you place your hand in the right part, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Amen. When you place the left, goodness will locate you. Amen. No man, no woman will ever dream, plan, conceive, and get you down. Amen. Because your God is alive. Amen. I sanctify this color in the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're welcome. Nathaniel C. Uma, the DG administration of Ego Corp, hereditary. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Amino Adamu Abu Bakar. I'm the 16 as well as the command. Thank you, sir. I'm Vito Mika, Taito Lega, TSS. I am Superintendent George Iloko, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Karo Division. Welcome. Thank you, sir. I'm Ike Chukonora, SEC, Assistant Cost Controller Intelligence, Igwe Corps. Igwe, sir. My name is Pastor Wek Leonard Oga. The founder of Portillo Gospel Center. Yeah. Thanks so much, sir. My name is. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. My name is Emmanuel Wokoro, assistant pastor of Portillo Gospel Center. Emmanuel yeah. Wokoro. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Gideon. I'm just coming for the first time, sir. Welcome. Igwe. Welcome. My name is Abila Ismail, chief cop detective marshal, ADC to DG, private detective. Welcome, Mr. Good sir. My name is Anne Nkosi. Mm. DC. DEM. Welcome. My name is Jacob Abbott, CDM. Cop Detective Marshal. Welcome. Ibe. Uh, My name is Fidelis, the Provost of Evo Assembly Community. Ibe. My name is Amosike Ibujo, Chief Marching Emeril, Chairman ICA. Igwe, I'm Mrs. Blessing Emeka, as a mayor of Karoloka Government. Igwe, Igade, Chinedu Oba is my name, DJ Logistics. The German Communal Initiative for Unity and Peaceful Coexistence. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we greet uh, Royal Highness. And uh, thank you for that introduction. At this point, I were meant to understand that uh, this meeting was fixed for 12.30. And looking at our time, you see that uh, it's fast spent. So at this point, I'd like to, it's our duty that we'll read out our objectives so that those that are around that feel like Belonging to this organization will also do good in joining us, and then our brother, sister, agencies, or senior brothers will as well be able to render their advice and counsel where necessary. One of our aims and objectives for communal initiative and for Ego Corps 
is number one to give voice to the minors among the majority and advocate for peaceful coexistence through dialogue. We advocate for peaceful existence through dialogue. Everywhere you go in this country, you always meet minorities, you always meet majorities. And so one of our assignments as a people is to, is, to call, is to go for a peaceful coexistence through dialogue, of which uh, last some time ago, some months ago, we were at Bayelsa State, and uh, we were at Enu, uh, an, uh, Ebony State, where there are some communal crises, and we wrote to the governor, and then wrote to the local government chairman, and they all gave us their nod to get to that place. So we visited the Aces, the chief, how to bring in a lasting peace. And we discovered that the issue on ground was just because of a little land that this one crossed here and this one crossed here. And so that is one of the things that we do to advocate for peaceful coexistence to, uh, through dialogue. We don't use force because we are not force. We use dialogue. We use our mouth to talk. Number two, our one of our objectives is to build and enhance legacies of peace and unifying factors. Anything that can bring in peace, anything that can bring in unity, is our interest to build on it. Number three, to foster the to foster the ideology of oneness, to foster the ideology of oneness despite tribe, color, or religion. We discovered that one of the things that is actually causing a lot of menace in our country today, all over the world, if it's not religion, it is tribe. So uh, uh, the organization is focused on trying to make sure that we fo foster the ideology of whatsoever that will bring in oneness, despite tribe, color, and religion. Number four, to help reduce the effect of climate change. That is the reason why in Ego Corp. Private Initiative for Communal Initiative, we made it a mandate. We made it a mandate that by next year, 2024, one of the activities we are going to carry out after after welcoming the new year is going to be Operation Plant a Tree. We are trying to see how we can be able to get sponsors and get and get ourselves equipped uh, nationwide to for every member of this organization, not just members, even people we can reach to plant at least at least one person right. should plant about five trees. That is one of the campaigns we are carrying out. So to help reduce the effect of climate change, if you also conversant with the news of what is going on in the world, you discover that even world leaders, from time to time, they are calling for meetings on climate change uh, issues. So we are also looking into that. Now, uh, number five, we promote cli climate-friendly activities. Number six, to enhance and make more effective. Please, I want us to listen to this. To enhance and make more effective community policing, taking over community policing but we are there to enhance it and to make it more efficient these are these are the reason why the reason why i am making emphasis on this point is because some people even some personnel they've mistaken us for something we are not we are not there to take over from the civil defense we are not there to take over from the police we are not there to take over from vgn but we are just there to enhance and make more efficient the activities because they cannot be everywhere. And so to enhance and uh, make more effective community policy. Number seven, to offer intelligent reports to all concerned security agencies. To offer uh, intelligent reports. To offer intelligent reports. Uh, we, we all live in different communities where different things happen. And so uh, our major partners being the DSS, uh, th that also doesn't limit our reports to, the, uh, to just things that concern DSS, state security. Uh, we are also putting eye on drugs, on a lot of other things. So we are built to give an intelligent report to anyone, anything that has to do with breakdown of law and order in the society. Number eight, to act, to act as an extended arm to all security agencies by promoting awareness. We went to Enugu in, during our inauguration of in, in Enugu. Uh, one of the police officers, he made a comment. He said, so you people are not trying to become police. We said, no, that is why number, number, that number eight is there. We are there to, as an extended, to act as an extended arm to all security by promoting awareness, not by arresting. This you get into, you discover that there is no police station there. And then there are crimes that are everyday life going on in that same community. And some of our members are from that community. So in the absence of that police officer or police station that is there, our members are uh, to act and in promoting awareness, collaboration and communication between communities and agencies of government. 
there are people who don't um, who don't believe or who doesn't know that um, that um, electric pole or a cable that is in the community is a collective property it's not just government and that is why you see some of our young men they go out of the way to go destroy government properties thinking they are dealing against the government thinking they are wicked in the government thinking they are the government is going to cry about it so the organization is here to make our uh, timid population to understand that our collective property should be protected uh, someone seeing a pipeline someone seeing uh, someone seeing uh, uh, what do you call it anything you call poli police station seeing a police van seeing some things government uh, establishment things that if I destroy it I'm dealing with the government no you are not dealing with the government instead the money that is supposed to be used for another thing will be used to replace that thing you are getting you are spoiling so these are one of the things we are conversing for and then number nine to give when necessary accurate reliable intelligence to give when necessary accurate reliable intelligence to all security agencies most especially to our part primary partners the department of security services in order to enhance their service and protection of national values in order to enhance their service and the protection of national values uh, I, I was in a place called Chudunwada, very close to Izidu village planning or talking about uh, something that is very very evil to mankind and then uh, uh, somebody was sent into their midst and then blended with them and at the end of the day you discover that a young man that you see that is having a, a, a pack of carton, a pack of phone, this phone earpiece carton if you see him, you think that that is what he sells. But actually, what he sells there is hard drugs. Mm. It's hard drugs. So these are the, these are the, uh, at, at times, uh, the, the, the DSS, the civil defense, the Nigerian police force, the army, they may not be in such, such, such places. Someone needs to give them a reliable inf information so that they can be, because if you allow those guys to continue smoking and to continue buying, uh, and you say it doesn't concern you because you are together with them, one day, the menace will also get to you. And so we have to stop it and to put an end to it. So uh, these are one of the, some of the things we do. We give reliable intelligence and information uh, to carry a campaign of national unity to every part of this country. That is what we are doing. We've been able to, we've been able to visit about 12 states with a campaign for unity, peace. Uh, we visited 12 states from between March and November. We were, we've been in 12 states. To build synergy with sister agencies in promoting community development at all levels. To build synergy with sister agencies in promoting community development at all levels. At all levels. Uh, one of our dream is that uh, communal initiative will be able to go into borehole drilling for communities that doesn't have building schools for communities that doesn't have. As a matter of fact, when we were in Zidu, we were in Zidu community, the 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 baggy chief there made it very open to us that what they need is a police station. As a community, they don't have a police station. Uh, our, our advisory board, we have told them, and then we are trying to see, even if it is two, three rooms, we put up for them, write the name of Nigerian police force there, go to the DP Yolube, and then invite him to come and take over that place, because as a community, you need security presence. And so these are the, one of the things we do also, uh, to build synergy with sister agencies and promoting community development at all levels. Number 12, to educate and enlighten our immediate communities on the need to protect our collective and government properties. Anywhere we go, any campaign we hold, we make it a must that we must let the populace know that it is our, our job collectively to protect government properties, to protect it. So we preach unity, peace, and security because we believe that the levels of our heroes past shall never be in vain. Then how do we intend to achieve all these objectives? Very simple. We intend achieving all these things by partnering. Today we are in His Royal Highness' place, and um, after we have explained ourselves to him, he was delighted and he welcomed us. As a matter of fact, uh, I have not seen a man like this before. Please, can we give him a hand of applause? I have not seen a man like this before. He is a wonderful father. He is a wonderful father. Within the little time he known us, the length he had gone for this organization is awesome. And so I, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. So by partnering, dialoguing and engaging community leaders, he is a community leader. We are here. He's, we were not engaging him now. He's the one engaging us now. <laughs> so by partnering, we partner with other sister agencies. We dialogue with community leaders at all levels. We engage with stakeholders. We engage with organizations, pastors, imams and the uh, international community 
remain of value and respect in our society. So we believe by, by this partnership that we're going to achieve our aims and objectives. Today we are here to give honor to our father. Father, he's our feather. He's not just our feather, he's our ladder. He's not just our he's also a caterpillar. I like what I do. <laughs> Day to uh, to honor him and to also uh, and to also show him that um, his children that we are proud of him and I want to thank God for everyone that is here today. So at this point, uh, at this point, before we go on to the main event or the decoration of our grand patron, I would like to give our sister agencies an opportunity to advise us either security wise. Or anyhow you want to do it. If you want to take more cola, we also serve you. Uh, just like I introduced myself, my name is Sputene George Doko from Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. Okay. You know, uh, you were saying something like uh, a, police, a police guy was telling you that you guys are coming to take over their job. Yes, sir. You cannot finish the job of this, you cannot finish security job as a security personnel. That's right, sir. <coughs> That's right. As we are all seated here, we are all security to our environment. That's true. Because by the time you are passing, when a gang of people smoking down hemp here all the time, there are particular people within them that once you once they inhale this particular Indian hemp, what they plan you don't know. Yeah. By the time you don't report this particular people, this particular group, somebody somebody will walk into the jump this fence and remove your, your car battery. You all know how much a car battery costs now. Mm -hmm. Security, it has affected you directly mm -hmm. or indirectly. Mm -hmm. So this is your initiative. In fact, if I were to advise the Nigerian government, they should register more security agencies. Affiliates. Affiliates to lessen this burden yeah. on ecology, on environment, mm -hmm. on this, on that, on that. There's a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have not even started security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's this 21st century security mm. that you don't have to use century. There's something called century mm. mounting and not doing. Yeah. If I see you, if you see me on the way now, they tell you I'm a security person. Will you believe? No, no. not at all. But there are a lot of information I've given in this particular division that solve a lot of problems. Just like we were dialoguing the other day, as we are sitting on a time bomb, Nigeria is sitting on a time bomb now. Mm. There is a growing population of youth mm. that are dissatisfied with the government mm. because of deprivation, starvation, anger. Everybody is angry with the system. Mm. Yeah. And by the time you are angry with the system, I'm going to tell you categorically that the children born from 1990 2000 cannot recite the national anthem mm. because they are angry with the government. Mm. And once someone is angry with the that's how terrorism yeah. come about. Yeah. So, in fact, I, I give kudos to you guys. Thank you so much. You know? The way civil defense operates, mm -hmm. it is called civil defense. defense. There is a man that came to our place and he was underwriting us. So by the time we finish with him, he said, Cut now, Bush baby, on a deal. You know, Bush baby, he, they do mm -hmm. like say, mm -hmm. you find a lot of learned people in civil defense, people who still aspire to go for that. Mm -hmm. So it's not an idea of you coming to bridge justice, who we'll dwell more on you. There's something you mentioned here, mm. which is alternative dispute resolution. Yeah. Yeah. You know, an African man will, will still parley with his brother when you take him to Igwe's palace, mm. than when you take him to the police station or mm. civil defense or the yeah. DSS. Yeah. So there's a particular image that by the time you take your brother to police force, civil defense, uh, uh, yes. DSS, mm. you don't like him any longer. Mm. Yes. But by the time you take that your brother to civil defense, immigration and all this, all these places, you get justice from there. Uh, I don't know if the police will have anything to tell this community gathered here today in respect of peace and the occasion we've come for. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone of us here. I stand on the existing protocol. Um, I am the OC Ado Police Station outpost. And by special grace of the Almighty God, we are working towards the, uh, our target. All we look for in this country is how to maintain peace mm -hmm. and order. And if we see somebody that made up his or her mind to assist us in making peace, we must definitely welcome the person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So far, the 
and the um, objective of this uh, organization is to maintain peace. But especially, you go into the the communities, you spy some certain things, and when you dictated anything crime going on within that area, once you put your call and it got to me, I must definitely answer you. We will never disappoint you people. Yeah. So far, you do it. This just like as I said to my friend the other day, that some people may claim to come and do good. Before you know it, they will use it to do bad. Mm -hmm. There are some of them that have come and at, along the line will discover that they are not doing what they say they are. Mm -hmm. But if this very firm will do exactly what they are speaking to us now, definitely we will give you back up. Are you immediately? Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So I pray God Almighty will help each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. I wish you good luck. Yes, uh, the core capsule, the DSS, all security organization, you are very respected. You are welcome Thank you. to this auspicious occasion. I'm most delighted and grateful for you to come and decorate my Igwe. Thank you, sir. The grandfather. In fact, like you said, I pick your statement. Mm -hmm. He's an indomitable lion. Mm -hmm. With his compassionate and benevolent spirit. Mm -hmm. If you come close to him, he's a man that can go extra miles to settle whatever matter you have. Many people that house bubbles outside this environment, outside this palace. He went extra miles to bring peace to their homes. The moment you step into this palace, just believe and be rest assured that your matter is settled. So I am happy today welcoming you. And most grateful to God, keeping him alive. He may Long. Amen. You will live long. Amen. You will live long. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, you are welcome. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Please say, I'm a happy one. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome so much. Uh, we appreciate your presence. Uh, well, before we continue, I would like to call on uh, the Chairman, Communal Initiative for Unity and uh, Peaceful Coexistence of Nigeria, who is present here. Also, double as the DG Logistics in Ego Call. Uh, let's welcome uh, the Tete Chinedu Oba. That has been established by my brother, DG Logistics, uh, DG Admin, sorry. I uh, want you so much for the privilege to, that you've given to us today. We cannot forget it in a hurry. Yes. Uh, I want to thank you. Our people said to whom much is given, much is expected. Uh, we have come today to decorate you as our father. You have been a father to many. You have been a father to the nation. And we pray that as long as uh, heaven and earth remain, God will keep giving you strength and good health. Amen. Yes, it is because when you are healthy, you will be strong to go out. Uh, I was here on Thursday when went to see our people, the DSS, went to the NDLUA having meetings and uh, needed to come around, but they told me you were in court. Yes. And I was so happy. It's not every Igwe that does that. Mm -hmm. Most of them are very high. On top there, you can't see them, you can't reach them. But in your level, you have made it very easy for to be assessed. We want to say thank you. And because you have made yourself available to serve, God will give you the grace yeah. so that you will serve this nation, you will serve very well. Amen. Today we are decorating you as our father, the Grand Patron, on Communal Initiative for Unity and Peaceful Coexistence. And then we work with those who like peace. And because you are a man of peace, that is why we have come. And when we come, you did not drive us away. You received us as children 
you keep guiding us, you keep pointing towards the direction we will go. And since then, we've not made a mistake. We want to say thank you very much. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the Advisory Board, on behalf of the leaders, you know we have two programs to actually the launching. Some of them are there. That is why here is not filled up as expected. The book launching of our trainee. So they are there. We want to thank you for serving as a father, but a grandfather. Because there are other fathers, there are other patrons that are coming after you. But you are serving as a grandfather in this organization. And we know following you will not be a mistake. And we know, we believe, we trust that following you, you will not lead us astray. Rather, you will guide us where. And we, that is why we are praying that God will keep your life for us. Uh, brothers are here. We the police that just walk in, the civil defense and agency. We pray to God that they too, with your help, when I went to them, that they say you've given them card that they are going to be here. And I thank God that they are here. Uh, we sorry again, we came late. Our prayers that they keep helping us. I told them in the office, I was telling the gap. The challenge is uh, the information uh, gap has been breached in our nation. You know, like they said, if a guy is wearing uniform, even in his company, a lot of people know that he's a policeman. Mm. There are things they will not do when, he, when he's around. There are things they will not say when he's there. Uh, but we, we can easily meet. At times I go and watch football. I sit down there, I say, hey, I know what I'm looking for, information. Like he said, mm. we were together that day. We discovered that that carton is not what they call it. Mm. They empty what is inside the carton and they replace it with hard drugs. drugs. So when you... A normal man, if you tell him that you need charger, he asks you what type of charger. And no matter the charger, he doesn't have it. Mm. But when the customer comes, he will remove one and give him a will mm. go. So it took us time before we get to know that what they are selling there is our drugs. So I was appealing to them in the office that they should also help us so that when we call, they will answer. You know, there are limits we cannot go. We cannot arrest. Uh, little thing, like you said, Nigerians are hostile now. There is anger everywhere. Uh, before you know, it may lead to bridge of uh, uh, bridge of uh, 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 what would I call it? Be a good thing. You begin to answer for what you don't mm -hmm. know. Because as long as you hold the person, people, what did he do? Mm -hmm. Fight has started. So we're oh, trusting God that with your position and believing God, since they are here listening to us. Tell them in the office and they promise to do that. Uh, the people will always call. When we just call, they will respond immediately because we don't have the ammunition to arrest or to keep the people standing. So there are levels we cannot do. But the information level, we, are, we pledge that we're going to do that and do it very well. And then when we call, they should be able to answer us so that we'll have solution. The peace we are looking for collectively will be able to achieve it. Once again, thank you very much, Your Highness. The Lord bless you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chairman. DG Logistics uh, is nice. I want to stand here too, since uh, our guy police officer is here. If it's more than two miss you, that I will not disappoint you. Yeah. We will not disappoint the Nigerian police force. We will not disappoint the existing security system of this country. Who abide by our rules, and uh, and that is the reason why uh, our, our personnel are being trained, and we are still uh, appealing for more training, both from uh, the DSS, the civil defense, from the drug and law, from police. We are advocating for training because uh, at the time when someone doesn't know what to do, you don't blame him for doing what he knows. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I want to promise you that we will not disappoint you. At this point, I would like to come back to the father of the house, uh, to make a little speech before we move into the decoration. Let us see. You are most welcome. Thank you. Yes. We appreciate the ladies. First, let me start by saying that according to people, what God, God does not know doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have a you look at the name, Communal Initiative for Unity and Peaceful Coexistence. Now, the Doma man, right? Yes, sir. Has spoken. There's no way they are written in Doma. Mm. Let's try about it. Yoruba. Yoruba man is here. The profession, he found himself, made him to be done today. Mm. But the DSA not talking now. Mm. The policeman can shout that before they hit the button, he has spoken Igbo man. So that is how it is. Communal, communal, good peaceful coexistence. 
And the one thing that moved me when they approached me, they said this is a private dictative partnering with community leaders. Mm. What else? God had made it easy. Mm. I promised them that whenever they cough, I will sneeze. Mm. Have I failed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I welcome them. I begin to give them touch light. Mm. I did not press the, the what do you call it? Close up the way you mm, said. Yeah, from the head. I hold it at the back. <laughs> I said, move. Mm. When you get to any office, I send you. Call me from there. Mm. Let me know why the son of the lion will eat grass. Mm. And they have been succeeding. Yes, sir. If you ask me my innermost feeling, I will tell you that I pray that this program will not go to the beginning. <laughs> for making me grand patron, they have tied me to this program. <laughs> because they say he that much is giving much is better. Oh, sure, and they have promised anything that will make your name to be on top mm -hmm. in Nigerian record, I will do it. <laughs> that reminds me that reminds me how Niger Guide started mm -hmm. and the other uh, security agencies. A drop of water will eventually form an ocean. Oh, yes. I want to encourage you with nothing, but God will encourage you with something. Yes. I want to encourage you this day. You are not following the, the wrong path. Yes. You are in the right path. Amen. In near the future, you are going to be employers of labor Amen. in this country. Amen. I trust every man in National Assembly because by year 2024, we are going to much forward for the main job. Yes, Any man that come across this nation must sign his duty. Yes, so that you sit down like my brothers over there. Mm. If I begin to tell you your gas at the airport road, you begin to get short now. I was involved in an army presentation symposium. I was the only way in Abuja, every other I came there. But this was a program for African leaders, not Nepal. Nepal. What is it called? Yeah. Yes. Nepal presidency. When I spoke, that was when I got to know the controller. You are got commandant general in at the uh, you know air force. So come. What do you call it? Custom them. All of them, you cannot have your number. I say, have my number. Call me any day, any time. This is a fearless king in Abuja, within the environment. Because new Nigeria is still possible. Yes, sir. Yes. New Nigeria is still possible. Yes, sir. If the crop of young men I'm seeing now, the way they're sounding, they have gone to school. They are reaching brain. And they are Because when they are peace, my brother, peace always knock, door, knock at the door of the progress. When you have peace, you must make progress. Yes. If you don't have peace, you don't know, get money. Yes, so God will continue to uphold all of you. Amen. Continue to preserve you. Amen. This dream, this vision will be celebrated. Amen. This vision must be celebrated. Amen. I don't, I'm not a politician. I promise you this on that. But when we round up this section, I will tell you a leader what and the things we need to do, Amen. where we need to go. Your own gods are giving you the idea. Mm. Somebody will come with that bag of money so that we can make it rare. Amen. My own is when the lion rolls, they have a command. Mm -hmm. I get it. Amen. I've never directed you anywhere they say, Who are you going away? Yes, In fact, your name is Ringebe all over Abuja. Amen. Go to the National Assembly, go to uh, Amak, go to Buari. That is to mention but few. So we should be ready to walk. Agree. Not like a ladder you said, but like a tapina. <laughs> like bulldozer. <Yeah. laughs> when we come, we pursue, we overtake, we recover. Agree. So that when people like he, OC, Igwe, the tiger, retired, we fall back to this mm. the group he has supported. That's mm. true. Mm. I gave them nature at a residency hotel. Mm. Every young man or woman, age of 20, please. If you are not handsome or ugly, if you are not handsome or beautiful, take your tap and go. Mm. <laughs> At 30, you must be most matured, mm. responsible. Mm. At 40, you are already a leader. 
in this country at 40 check your age now you are daddy or your mother at 60 you are working towards receiving what you have so chairman people don't call you Okay. With the wine and everything, yes. I'm mm -hmm. not chase ego, mm -hmm. cannot stop ego. Mm -hmm. Ego is unstoppable animal. Yes. I hereby today declare to be unstoppable in Nigeria. Amen. 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 No man can stop you. No man can stop you again because you have money to come out from this level. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I give all my support and I welcome you. Thank you. I accepted the offer. I will father you like no father. Yes, sir. For this cause is concerned, in Jesus' name. Amen. Boot camp. Uh, no, so you don't go no, and search. No, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, now put the cap on the uh, crazy. Mm -hmm. So the power invested on me as the chairman, CEO, Ego Core, Communal Initiative for Unity and Resistance. I'm here to decorate His Royal Highness, Igwe Ochendo, the Lion One of Nigeria. Africa, yes. because as the eagle is flying, he's flying with our father. Exactly. We can't leave him behind. Mm. As long as he's pushing us as we are flying, mm. we are flying with him. Amen. Recorded him today as our grand patron. Igwe, 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 that one with the carry. Thank you. Clap so for me now. Igwe, for your permission, sir. Permit me to. Put your cap on your head. Yes. Please, this is um, Don't your patron uh, headgear, as we call it. And uh, we believe that uh, justice is being done today on behalf of uh, Communal Initiative. Ma, hand your, correct you with your headgear as a grand patron. Thank you. That's how we do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> then the presentation certificate, please. Let's join forces together so that I will add color to it. Mm. Uh, keep the little. Uh, uh, sir. Uh, yes. Uh -huh, please. You you will shift back now. Okay. Well, we have I present. Come on. We have I present this award from the Commoner Initiative for Unity and Peace in Nigeria, aka Igbo Corps Private Detectives. This certificate is presented to His Royal Highness Ambassador Dr. Igwe Uchendu A.O. Chukudi J.P. as our Grand Patron. This is in recognition of a relentless pursuit and understanding role played in enhancing peace, unity, and community in Nigeria. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. I see this. Are we good to go? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, Igwe. Congratulations, Thank you. Um, my heart is full of joy for the wondrous thing you have done today. And I hereby commit this exercise to the hand of Almighty God. Our power belongs to God. Whether He give us the enablement, give us the power to do more than expected. And to all of us that witnessed this today, I pray that God will send 
the bigger and the greater organs to decorate you more. Amen. Decorations and celebrations never lack in your life. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. thing we have to do now will be for us to take group pictures. If we please, Nogogi, so we can stay where we can have for. But he served and served and people thought it's going to be like uh, Methuselah. He served like Jesus Christ. His name uh, Dr. T.B. Joshua. He went to inner room. He said, I say, I don't go follow. I'm, uh, I'm unbreakable. You don't go fall. In this kingdom, the great can welcome you now. I declare that every man that sees you will love you. Amen. Every woman that you knock at the door will open the door for good. Amen. Every community you come, they will all welcome you from their bottom of their heart. Amen. And therefore, I welcome you to the fold of the cabinet members in Karuluka government, not at all. Mm -hmm. I declare you this day, in the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherever you go, you must succeed. Amen. As long as this bid is here, whoever you have handshake with, man you tap from the greatness amen when you speak that for good amen. success will locate and follow you amen, amen. what is your name call him onwa of kalu kalu oh, onwa you are the light you are from now the light one day we can nobody will take away the joy of your integrity amen very soon we will also Give you your certificate mm -hmm. for you to know it is real. Mm -hmm. It is done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Look at the this. Oh, wow. Oh, Thank you, sir. The secret of this oh, so, uh, palace oh. is I will remain that we rise by lifting others. Mm -hmm. You never look down on anybody. Best not cheap way on one. We believe in surprises and great packages. Odogu na Zenit Bank. Um, as a doctor, Ambassador Igbo Chendo, Ogilibo, in collaboration with Ornezen Igbo, an entire Igbo community has been making look at good. I've screened you, Bishop Yod, and come out to present the best 2023 humanitarian message. He that much, the much is better. Mm -hmm. How do I mean? The little thing you put into people's life counts millions. Mm -hmm. Not until you dash somebody else. Mm -hmm. Um, this is in recognition of your leadership quality. I have called my timer, your brand, your, your big office. I've called a lady that said is your overall boss. I told her that you are my son. Said, are you serious? He's a good man. That's what I want to hear from you. I was wondering what happened to report you. When he says a good man, I call my cabinet member. Say, this man has an outstanding achievement, humanitarian and empowerment to our society. <coughs> he doesn't know who is he, but who is he back. His goodness has to back. Therefore, we say today, keep fit and keep doing good. I'm glad you're a young man. You have so many miles to go. New people will decorate you. By virtue of this, we are just open. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. 
Dans les deux mains. 